Well, 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 good evening, West Ham fans. Let's talk about Mikel Antonio. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. From the bottom bathroom today. Just got out. Of, just got a bath. Had a bath. Apologies, but I wanted to jump on. Um, obviously, um, international break. West Ham can't ruin it, or can they? Or can they? Um, as um, not only Thomas Suchek, although he scored a massive gash, and he's then got kicked in twice, I think, for the Czech Republic's international game. But today, Mikel Antonio uh, was playing for Jamaica. He lasted only 18 minutes before going off with a hamstring injury. Now, he hasn't had a hamstring injury for a while, um, so... That doesn't sound good, particularly considering we've just offered him, well, he's accepted, you know, a new, was it a four-year deal? Um, obviously, it hasn't been released by the club, but that was a while ago. Um, it will exasperate, good word for a Saturday, our move for a striker in January for sure. While also, potentially, coming Divan, all has been forgiven in terms of getting more minutes for Mbama as well, definitely. Um particularly with January coming and we don't know the severity of the hamstring injury. I'm sure we'll find that in the next 24, 48 hours, but it's not good news. Not good news for Mikhail. Not too bad news for West Ham because, I mean, to be honest, at the moment, he's very much a, an impact player. And if it means that maybe Mbama can get some more game time, it's not the end of the world. It's just typical that, you know, we've, we gave a, a 30 two 33 year old another four-year deal and he's got injured so there we go anyway hope you uh, have a good rest of your weekend tomorrow i'm going to do a bit about the manager i want to see take over next at west ham so keep an eye on that but until next time take care stay safe stay warm stay humble keep the faith my friends and i'll see you soon Bye.